War has raged between Western Sahel countries and Islamic State and Al-Qaeda militants for more than a decade. This social media video purports to show militants carrying out a massacre at a Burkina Faso military base last year. Analysts say failure to stop attacks helped spark two coups in Burkina Faso this year. Both military hunters that carried out the coups cited the inability of the previous government to improve security. There was this expectation that a military leader would perform better than a civilian one. What we've seen instead is that since January, the security situation has continued to deteriorate. All over the Western Sahel, governments are losing the war with militants. Data from the Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Project shows that more civilians died because of the conflict in the first half of 2022 than in the whole of 2021. In Burkina Faso, one of the previous military hunters' flagship policies for reducing violence was to create military interest zones. It called for civilians within conflict-affected provinces to leave for a period so the army could carry out operations against any remaining terrorists. VOA travelled close to one of the military zones and met Jonas Sawadogo, who says he was forced to leave his home because of the policy. <laughs> It was the government's decision. It's not what we wanted. The military should have come and done something before it got to this point. Since we have left, we have no idea what they've done to protect our village. Gregor Sawadogo says he has received no support from the government since leaving his home, also in a military zone. Since I left, I have been working as a labourer with stonemasons. I get about $4 a day to feed my family, my mother, my wife and my four children. I have to pay rent too. Despite the terrible violence and more than 2.6 million displaced in the Western Sahel, aid workers worry this war will become a forgotten crisis. Sandra Latouf is the representative for UNICEF in Burkina Faso. She just returned from Jibo, a town in the country's north, where terrorists for months have blocked deliveries of food. Trucks carrying supplies can be seen here halted because it is too dangerous to travel on the road to the north. One convoy was recently attacked. She says children in Jibo are starving to death. And it's really, uh, it's a break hurt to see that children have suffering, the population have suffering. We need to talk about Burkina Faso. We need to talk about the Sahel. This is a situation that needs attention of the world. As the war in the Sahel intensifies, attacks by militants have begun to spread to coastal West African countries. The next phase in the jihadist efforts to destabilise the region. Henry Wilkins for VOA News, Melu, Burkina Faso.